Classic Rock Station. Cool, man. That's the new uh, U2. They went back to their original producer. Uh, my bro's in the studio. You, you're in town. I'm here uh, doing the National Treasure Dance. And last time you came by the station, this Nicholas Cage, uh, formerly Coppola, but Cage. Uh, yeah. Now, but I got to show the family connection. There you go. You were here when you were filming the scene on the Intrepid. That's right. Which is used in the movie. And you you came by to say ho hi over there. And That's now right. I'm coming by to say hi over here. <laughs> And, and you got your lovely wife yeah, here. Yeah, she's here too. Yes, Alice Kim was, and your middle name is Kim. Right. This is the, the connection here. It's that interesting. It was meant to be. I'm Nicholas Kim Cage, and, and you're Alice Kim Cage. So, um, <laughs> so what's going on now? The movie's open. Is it opening late tonight at midnight, or is it opening tomorrow? It's it's opening on Friday, and uh, I think you can bring the whole family. I, I the movie's a lot of fun. Uh, bring the kids, go out on a date with a young lady you like or a young man you like, and, and have a blast. I, I, re I really recommend it. I, I, I went to see it with a live audience not too long ago, and, and we all had a lot of fun with it. Well, I, I enjoyed it. I saw a press screening of it uh, the other day, and then I sent my 14-year-old to it with her friend separately from me, and they just all just totally loved it. Oh, I mean, lo they loved the mystery of it, but they, they loved a lot of the stuff about it. There's something know? in this for everybody. Yeah, it's like an Indiana Jones, but it's also like a Laura Croft Tomb Raider. You may get a game out of this. Who knows? You may have an actual game, a virtual yeah. game of looking for the lost treasure. Well, stranger things have happened, but it's a treasure hunt, and I, I, I'm always up for a good treasure hunt. Yes, I, <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been taking up Perry. <laughs> treasures our whole life. That's but. right. Ever since we were young boys, I would bury the money and dig it up again in the backyard. Nicholas tells this story once in a while. Well, he did years ago on another radio station I was on here about how he um, says that I claims that I put a speaker under his pillow and he'd hear voices saying, Nicholas, Nicholas, where's the treasure? Where's the money? Show me the money. But you did do that. Admit it. Don't say I claim it. <laughs> I don't you remember, though. I yeah. think I've forgotten. But no, I know. I used to deal with that. I used to hook up. I was in the radio then, and I, was, I would be like, I was the older brother, so I had all these wires, and I'd wire up a speaker, put it under your pillow, and whisper. You were always into radio. You, you are pure radio. It was from the beginning. You were. It's in your. It's in your DNA. You are perfect radio. Well, I had a Radio Shack. Had a little <laughs> wrist radio with Dick Tracy. I used to hook you it up. You had your own antenna. radio station in the garage in the backyard. You were. You were. You were going uh, pirate radio then. You were. You were. You were breaking in the airwaves. Now I know. you're. Now you're legitimate and totally pro. You're the cope. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. You're the <laughs> cage with the cope at the yeah. queue. Yeah. But listen, I want to wish you good luck with National Treasure, and I think it's, it's really like an Indiana Jones. It could be a sequel to this. Could be You could be protecting a lot of things in the future. You've got a yeah, Sherlock Holmes aspect, which you're working with Jerry Bruckheimer, and he's he's captured that in his TV shows, the CSIs. Yeah, you know, he's, he's doing great all over the place. Yeah. Tentacles and uh, everywhere. Yeah, and then it also is, it has the Count of Monte Cristo element to it, in a way, in the sense of the treasure. Yeah. And um, also, uh, you know, Laura Lord, Croft Tomb Raider, all those things rolled into one, man. I mean, yeah. you, can't, you can't go wrong. That's right. So may you win the weekend. Well, thanks. Well, I'm rolling over to Columbia University. I'm going to say hi to about 900 students and talk about movies. Well, yeah? Yeah. You're talking to the uh, film class? Or yeah, just, we're or, talking to the film class. You can get into all aspects of movie making. Well, that's Should, good. Yeah. That's very nice of you to do that. And Columbia is a great school. It's, it's one of our, our, you know, that and NYU are the two that, that we turn out some great yeah. uh, filmmaking people. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, and it's always nice to see you, Mark. And I, thanks for stopping by, man. Sure. You, you got a great I got voice. got some steak from Peter Luger. Yeah, I know. I couldn't go to Luger's <laughs> for dinner, so yeah, it's under the bridge, you so know. I thought it might uh, yeah, give you a little something to chew on while you're on the air. Well, now that I found out my cholesterol is 152, I can boost it oh, up a little that's bit. extraordinary. I don't know how I do that. I don't know how you do it either. I don't know. All that candy I eat. But yeah, uh, I love jelly beans. <laughs> you like organic jelly beans. Organic right? jelly beans. Yeah, yeah. Listen, congrats on the marriage, too. Thanks. Good luck with the movie. It opens tomorrow. National Treasure, Jerry Bruckheimer film, and you've worked with him four times now, and yeah. uh, you guys make a great team. Your Thank adventure you. flicks are, are wonderful. Thanks. So, well, so we, we have a good uh, rapport with one another. It's a good, good, good team, as you say. Well, you better get over to Columbia. Okay. We don't want to keep the students waiting now, would we? Q1043 is putting together the 2004 edition of the Top 1,000.